Hey guys, it's Friday, it's July 26, 2024, and we're going to, after a stretch of reading some of my own stuff, and then I dove into uh, yesterday, starting yesterday, doing some of the lessons, or talking about some of the lessons. Today the lesson is um, 43. Sorry, I'm paying attention to my cat. Uh, she's coming running into the room to say hi. Um, lesson 43. And it is, God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. And, <laughs> sorry. It's funny how lately, this time around, um, I worked with a course. Um, this will be my second time working through the entire textbook. Uh, after a long break, not a long break from the course itself, but a long break from actually working the course in a... Um, deeply meaningful way, meaning I had assumed that the completion that the course would work through me, it did to the to a certain extent, but it wasn't an established practice. And I believe at this point in my life um, that having the course as an established practice is the way to go. Just the way, I don't know, the energy, the energy of the present moment that we're all in seems to be calling um, for forgiveness and the extension of love to the um, greatest of my ability, which is extensive because it is for all of us. And that brings us into God is my source. This is why it's extensive, because God is my source. How can you not be fully capable of extending all the love all the love in the world, all the love there is, all there is is love. And how can you not be fully capable of extending that if God is the source? God is my source, God is your source. And, sorry, I just got a message. Um, the fact that I cannot see apart from him. This is true vision. Now, if I see separateness, if I see something that isn't loving, if I see anything that does not feel as if it is of God or from God that I am not seeing correctly. Vision is his gift. I cannot see apart from him. That means true vision. That means not seeing with the eyes which label. We're looking for that deeper vision. We're looking for seeing beyond concepts, seeing beyond beliefs, seeing beyond labels and then we're back to the source so the reason why it just seems so important to me is at this moment the reason why this lesson is resonating so strongly is the temptation temptation to turn on the news or listen to anything on the media tell us what an unloving world we're living in at the moment probably true all the time for me, though, I don't know why, it just feels more real. And if it feels real, if I'm looking out and I'm seeing it real, then I am not seeing with true vision. I'm not seeing from the source. And this, Lesson 43, is asking me to just remind myself that God is my source and that I cannot see apart from Him. So anything that I think that I'm seeing, anything that I'm believing that I'm seeing, that is unloving, that attempts to convince me that I am separate from others is not true. Because God is love. Only God is real. If only God is real, if only love is real, then anything that I see that feels unloving is simply my own projection, which is calling for my forgiveness. So, that is Lesson 43. Tomorrow, we'll continue. I think we're going to continue with the lessons for a while. It's a, uh, it's a great way to dive in. It's a great way to, um, for me, and hopefully anyone who might um, stumble upon this, who might be inspired to pick up A Course in Miracles, or has explored it before, whether or not they finished, or maybe has never even heard of it. Regardless, if you've never heard of it or not, 
um, the thought of extending ourselves in love and not giving in to a world that is constantly and consistently telling us that we are in a very unloving situation, which means they're telling us that we are in a non-reality, that we are in the illusion of not experiencing love. And we can forgive our way through this. So maybe, guys, maybe you join me. If so, thanks. And if not, maybe at another time. Thanks, guys. Take care.